first graders. Thanks for joining me again. Here is the last chapters of Mr. Butter and Tabby Playball. The Dandies. Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke arrived in their baseball clothes. Let's go, said Mrs. Teaberry. They all drove to the ball field. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were in the middle of a game. The batter was running for home. Everyone waited and waited. I'm feeling pretty young, said Mr. Putter. Let's go play, said Mrs. Teaberry. She looked at Zeke. Stay, she said, patting Zeke's head. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. No way, Mr. Putter thought. He petted Tabby and went to play. Drop the ball, chapter four. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were very nice. They let Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry play right away. Mr. Putter took the outfield. Mrs. Teaberry took shortstop. The batter came up. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Hmm, thought Mr. Putter. In the outfield, I could be taking a nap. Another batter came up. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing in a ground ball to second. Mrs. T. Berry leaped into action. She ran for the ball. She reached for the ball. Then, whoop, Zeke got the ball. He was very proud. He ran around and around in circles. Drop the ball, Zeke, everyone yelled. Zeke did not drop the ball. The other team scored. Oh, dear, said Mrs. T. Berry. Oh, boy, thought Mr. Putter. Think about the characters right now, how they're feeling. Tabby purred in the dugout. Baseball was fun. Chapter 5. What a day. Another batter came up. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a ground ball to third. Mr. Putter couldn't watch. Bloop! Zeke got the ball and ran in circles. The other team scored again. The Yankee Doodle Dandies were not happy. They benched Zeke. Stay, they said. No way, thought Mr. Putter. The score was tied two to two. If the other team scored again, the dandies would lose. A batter came up. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a, and a hit to the outfield. Mr. Putter leaped into action. He ran for the ball. It was rolling, rolling. He had to bend down to get the ball. Mr. Putter tried to bend down, but his knees said, no way. The dandies were about to lose, but then... Oh, Zeke got the ball. Zeke looked at Mr. Putter. Mr. Putter looked at Zeke. Then Zeke jumped. He jumped and he put the ball right into Mr. Putter's mitt. Then Mr. Putter threw that ball to home. And because the batter was 100 years old and hadn't gotten there yet, the dandies got him out. Hooray! The game ended in a tie. The dandies carried Zeke on their shoulders, and they gave Tabby a ride in the peanut box. What a day! Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke ate ten free bags of peanuts and drank three gallons of water. Then they all found a nice spot in the dugout and took a long nap. Zeke's feet switched a lot, but he couldn't help it. He was still in the game. And here are the characters you just heard about. Mr. Putter, Tabby, Mrs. Teaberry, and Zeke. You might talk to your families about what you learned and how the character changed over time. Happy reading!